so when you create a new project a new app you can see it's the, the design view is blank and uh, the code view might guess might have some some code and on the left we have the component library here we have different components ui controls you know, some uh, in other terms we also call it ui controls user interface controls and we place drag and drop uh, in this window for example if i want to uh, place this button i'll just drag and drop into this window and uh, similarly uh, if i want to drag here okay this is the edit field text edit field and similarly i can also bring in like a label okay so we'll discuss in the uh, coming tutorials um, the detailed properties of uh, different components so uh, here the objective is just to show you you can drag and drop these things and uh, yeah now you can uh, go back to the code and, and uh, you, you'll see even more code added to this part uh, because uh, these uh, this code represents that uh, a new component each part like this is this represents a button the creation of a button similarly this represents the creation of uh, edit field so you as you add more uh, components here more code is added to the code view so you don't but you don't need to worry about wh what's there you just need to focus here for the uh, for the moment you need to uh, give it a shape the way you want that's important at the moment once you are done with with everything uh, once you get the, the this user interface this design view the way you want then and only then you can switch to the code view in the code view the important thing is uh, we call it the callback functions so since this is the the very uh, introductory tutorial i'll i'll just quickly go into this uh, callback functions and i'll check this button okay uh, the callback function uh, why, why why is it important for us is that callback function is something that that is called when some event happens for example click of the button is an event so if you want your program a part of a program to run when the button is pressed you need to type that part of a code in the callback function of this button so first i i'm going to click this button and here's a uh, if, if, if here are the properties of the uh, button so for example if i want to type it button instead of button if i type press it's a property it's the property that whatever uh, uh, whatever is written on the button so you, you can type in whatever you want here so that, that's just a property but if you want to get into here so here is a callback function this created a callback function for the button push so once the button is pushed the program within this function will be executed okay this is the callback function yeah, that means that uh, once the button is pressed the program the code within this function will be executed okay so um, i'm setting up a small objective here that i'll type in some something here in this edit field and when i press this button i want it to display it in this label just, just a very simple program transfer the text here to this label okay so uh, here j just uh, note down this um, uh, this path app dot edit field app dot label you can also view it here all right so the properties the, uh, the property of the label one, one more one more thing the, the, the inspector the inspector means that uh, the properties associated 
with this label okay so at the moment you can see that it's written here label because the text property here is the text property which is set to label if, if you want to set it to one two three for instance so the property that that decides whatever written here is the text property similarly here it's the uh, the property here is the value for example if I put you can see the value is displayed here if I just change this guy edit one for instance it just changes this label so this is the property the value is the property that that, that we need okay so let's get back to here so I'm going to assign app dot label the app dot label dot text equal what that mean is that this guy the, the app dot label and after the dot I'm saying the text property so the third dot after the dot I have this text this text means that app dot label this component and its text property I want to modify its text property okay and what I want to assign is the app dot edit one edit field okay that's uh, that has been changed so I want to change this pro uh, the the value pr uh, ch uh, sorry uh, assign the value of uh, value property of this to the label okay so I'm going to app dot edit edit one field and it has a property called value all right so it, it, it's what it what it does what this simple line of code does is assign one property of one component this component to other property of this component okay so I'll, I'll just run it and uh, if, if there is uh, an issue it will it will just pop up okay it says save it so I'll just save it with a name okay one one three okay so now you can see that when it was in this design view before running you can see the the same uh, stuff behind here but you cannot uh, use it I mean you can uh, change the properties but you cannot use that program here this is this is the field where you can uh, use your program so let's say I'm going to type in something here and it goes here and I'll, I'll just trim trim it okay so the um, the text that's here goes there because uh, the code I, I have written here says that assign to the text uh, to the text property of the label the text written in the edit field that's a very simple program okay once you are done with your um, app um, if you if you think that's that's it you can just uh, set up your version for example this is the version 1.0 and you can um, create uh, like a MATLAB app or a standalone de desktop app or a web app whatever you want you can publish I mean that, that means you can publish this app for the later use